Hi, it's Karen Davis here for Avoriel, and today I'm sharing a technique to show you how you can stretch your dyes and allow you to get totally different looks and more value out of your supplies. Avoriel just added two new cover dyes to their collection in the recent spring release, the Chevron Matte and this one which is called the Polka Plate. The holes cover the full area of the die, but if you look at the card samples I've created a frame in the centre of the die cut panel. You can do this with any cover die in any shape for the aperture, so long as you can create a frame. Any nesting dies you have will be perfect for this technique. In this first sample, I used two of the circle dies from the Burst die collection. I die cut the polka plate from white cardstock, then used the two circle dies and ran them through my Gemini to cut the opening or aperture in the panel. My dies still happen to be connected, but if you're using dies that are separated, you can either hold them in place with washi tape or use a magnetic shim if you have one. Next, I used the dies again to cut a frame, which I then pieced into the panel and held in place on the back with tape. Here's another example of the technique, this time using the wave cover plate. After I cut the wave panel from white cardstock, I took two nesting dies from the Stitch Squares collection. By the way, ignore the fact that the smaller squares die, uh, die is still attached. It doesn't actually affect what I'm trying to do here. I placed the dies face up on the magnetic shim of the Gemini and then die cut the frame. I taped this into place on the front of the wave panel and then placed the die over it to cut away the centre of the square. I decided to cut a second frame and adhere that over the front just because it looked better. You don't have to do that part, but it does give it a nicer finish overall. I'm going to make two cards with the panels I've created. A masculine one using the Hello Chum set and a feminine one using more of the brand new products from the latest release. The Spring Bouquet stamp set and the gorgeous new liquid watercolours. I want to create a cluster of flowers around my frame, so I'm stamping the individual images onto watercolour cardstock using Versamark ink. I'm arranging them on my MISTI so that I can stamp them and then turn the paper 180 degrees and stamp them again. I'm heat embossing the images using Avriel Fine White Embossing Powder so it helps to run an anti-static powder tool over the paper if you have one to help keep the embossing where you want it. Once all the images are embossed they're ready to be painted. A long time ago I laminated a few pieces of A5 cardstock which I keep next to me at all times and they're perfect for using as palettes for when I'm ink blending or watercolouring and they just wipe clean when you're done ready for next time. One of my favourite ways of using watercolour is to paint the area of the embossed image inside with plain water then adding the watercolour by just tapping a spot and allowing the ink or paint to flow naturally across the image. The more saturated the paper the more the colour will flow. You can then add other colours and allow them to blend or wait in between for each one to dry before adding other colours. I'm really enjoying using the new liquid watercolours from Avoriel. I've used a combination here of aquamarine, sea glass and mint to be on this card and I love how they look together. I use the celery colour for the leaves. If you want the colour to be more intense you can use the paint directly without adding water to the image first or you can layer colour until you get the look you want. I continue colouring all the images, building up the colour until I'm happy with them and then I can set them aside to either dry naturally or I can heat set them for a quicker result. Whilst that's happening you can get on with creating the rest of the card. I blended some lemongrass pigment ink onto my base card using a sponge applicator and then used score tape on the back of the polka plate die cut panel and adhered it in place on the front of the card. Once the watercolour images were dry I cut them out using the coordinating dies and set them aside. I picked out the hug sentiment from the floral bouquet set and stamped it in the centre of the circle aperture on the front of the card using fog dye ink. You can arrange the die cut elements around the frame however you wish to give you the final look you want. Once I was happy with my arrangement, I glued everything in place using liquid adhesive to give me a wee bit of time to make any adjustments I needed before they were set in place. I finished off with the card with a few wee touches of sparkle using a Spectrum Noir shimmer pen. And here's the three cards all together, just to compare the different looks and colours. Going back to the wave cover plate die panel I created earlier, I thought I'd use it with another of Avery-L's latest ad additions to their line, which is the coarse crystal glitter. I cut a square of card just smaller than the square frame on the panel and covered it with adhesive. I just used my tape roller, but you could use any adhesive you like. 
I covered the square in glitter and pressed down firmly to make sure it was stuck well to the cardstock. I added score tape behind the frame and stuck the glittered panel in place, pressing down well. I already had a bunch of my favourite Wee Sharp friends coloured with Copics, so I just had to add some foam tape to the back ready for him to be placed on the front of the card. So I adhered the wave panel to the blue card base and then popped the shark onto the front. To finish I stamped the sentiments from the Hello Chum set and cut them into small banners before gluing them onto the front frame of the card. Once everything was in place the last touch was to add a bit more detail to the shark with diamond glaze or glossy accents. I added some to his mouth and gave him a little twinkle in his eye too. And here's a last look at all the cards made in the video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.